What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having a great day as always. So today's video, as you guys read in the title, will be on the top 10 things I hate about my Jeep Wrangler. But before we get started, I did have an announcement to make. We're actually going to be doing a giveaway. So this giveaway will be announced at 800 subscribers. As we're making this, I believe I'm at like 720, 722, something like that. Um, this giveaway is definitely something you don't want to miss. We've teamed up with Rocky Boxes, um, my other company, to do this giveaway. We're going to be giving away over $800 worth of products to you guys. Um, so make sure you guys subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends, family, share it on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever you guys want to do to support. Um, we appreciate all of it. You guys have killed it with these last couple of videos. So let's go ahead and get into today's video. guys let's go ahead and get started on this list so the number one spot um this thing really bothered me when it was stock so um it's definitely going to be on the list would be the head unit and the speakers uh i know it's a jeep and it's not really known for having great speakers or head unit um it's not really jeep's thing but um talking to some other people watching some other videos the way they described it was it leaves a lot to be desired i couldn't word it better myself that's like dead on um, the pretty much the radio is as minimal as you can get which granted in some situations is nice But it would also be nice for when you're not off-roading to have some other features um, Kind of like how the new um, Wranglers do and stuff like that. Um, there are tons of aftermarket options for them Which is also a good thing um, The speakers also they're just not very good speakers not great quality you can replace them um, I'm thinking about getting a DS18 soundbar and stuff like that. There's tons of different options out there, like I said, to replace them, different brands, different options, all kinds of stuff you can do to upgrade it. But for the value of the Jeep and how much it costs, you think that it would come with better speakers and a better head unit, in my opinion. Um, on to the next thing on the list would be the OEM soft top. So I know it's a soft top. I know it's gonna be loud. It's gonna be a ton of noise. I know all like the Jeep purist guys are gonna be like, oh, like he's not really into Jeeps if he's gonna complain about the soft top and stuff like that. But I still have a soft top. I have the best top, um, super ultra top, I believe is what it's called. It's essentially the JL top on the Wrangler. And this thing is way better than the stock soft top. Um, it's way thicker. It keeps the heat in better. It keeps the cold air in better. Um, different options it has. It's just a way better top all around. So now that we got the first two items out of the list, let's go ahead and move on to the third. So the third kind of is we sort of have it, but not a great version of it would be lockable storage. So as you guys know, the glove box over here locks and the center console locks, um, but they're still not the most secure thing. And especially riding around with a soft top to where 90% of the time people can unzip it or simply take a knife and cut your window out. Um, it'd be nice to have some more secure locks, such as those metal boxes that you can put underneath your seats um, that bolt into the seat brackets and they lock. Um, Stuff like that, a lot more secure than just the plastic handle. I've seen countless people on Instagram posts that people broke into their Jeep at night and just ripped the glove box right out of the car. Um, besides that, it is nice to have some lockable storage in the Jeep, but like I said, it'd be nice to have way more secure lockable storage. So the next thing on the list would have to be lighting. Now that's interior and headlights and taillights. Um, let me see if you guys can see on video, kind of. These lights are just so yellow at night you can't really see anything there's no lights up here so this light would be nicer to have um like an led light in i do plan on upgrading that in the future um pretty cheap mod i think you can get the lights for like 25 dollars for the full kit to do all the lights on the inside but um it'd just be a nice thing to be included when you did purchase your jeep especially considering the price that they cost and how expensive they are it would be nice if they came with the led lights at least this one considering there's no light up front here so if you have that one on and then you're sitting here, you can't really see anything in front of you or anything like that if you turn the lights on. So it would be nice to have some LED lights in here. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next thing on the list would be seats. So a few complaints about the seats I have. The stock seats are just super uncomfortable, um, not very nice seats. They just, they suck all around. I also, I understand in the two door why the back seats don't recline. But in the four door, it seems like such a simple option that they could add to recline the back seats. Um, like I just got these seats from Brom and they even recline. Granted, not very far because I have a harness bar behind it, but I can put them in the back and have reclinable seats back there, which I do plan on doing. But it would just be a nice little touch to have on the Jeep, um, on the back seats at least. I know a lot of people make those little spacer puck kind of deals that you can put under the front of the seat bracket and it kind of reclines the seat back a little bit. Um, it'd be nice if it at least came with something like that inside of it or like an option for that or anything like that. 
So let's go ahead and move on to some of the next items on the list. One of the most annoying things when you lift your Jeep is trying to get in and out of the Jeep. And the Jeep doesn't come with stock grab handles. You have to buy these aftermarket ones. Um, there's tons of different options you can get there also. But for such a little thing, like I believe these were like $10 on Amazon. They were nothing crazy. Uh, this one's a paracord one on this side that I made myself. Uh, just super, super simple stuff. But you would think with how simple and how cheap it would be to add that to the Jeep that it would come with them. Um, especially when you lift it, I'm on a four inch lift in 37s and I'm six foot two and it still sucks to get inside the Jeep. So adding grab handles definitely would be awesome if it came with them. Um, again, that's kind of like a small thing to pick at, but it would just be like a nice little touch, just like the reclining seats in the back, stuff along those lines. Um, it's not really the end of the world or anything like that, but it does kind of suck that it doesn't come with it, especially for the price you pay to get a Jeep Wrangler, especially a newer one. You think it would come with the $15 mod to get the grab handles. So next on the list um, would be bumpers. Uh, I know that the bumpers have, for the newer Jeeps, you can upgrade them to like the steel option or whatever it's called and get kind of an off-road bumper out of it. But the stock bumpers on mine were pretty much plastic wrapped around um, styrofoam, which leaves your frame super vulnerable if you get into an accident, especially after I cut my front cross member out, I realized how thin and like kind of flimsy that was. And if I got into an accident, say I rear-ended somebody or something like that, and a tow hitch came through that front bumper, which wouldn't be very hard, it's literally just some plastic wrapped around some styrofoam, it could destroy the Jeep and total it, essentially. Um, which, especially with a car like this, um, especially if you're buying a Rubicon, you would think that it would come with some heavier duty bumpers, not just the plastic, um, pretty much shells around some styrofoam, because Jeeps are made to go off-roading, made to be dropped on rocks. I believe it was Light Bright's video that I watched. She said, why would you put these flimsy bumpers on a Rubicon when basically every Rubicon at some point in its life gets dropped on a rock and stuff like that? Um, so I do like that in the newer Jeeps, they have the steel bumper option, but in my Jeep, it did not come with that, which would be awesome to have. Let's go ahead and move on to the next item on the list. So the next two items are kind of similar. Um, so we'll start with the first and one of the most obvious things that everybody who has a Jeep knows about Jeeps, everything like that, they know, and that is gas mileage. So they're awful on gas essentially is probably the only way to put it they just suck with gas it's kind of something that when you buy a jeep you know you're going to get but um there is some things that you can get to eliminate that problem for example i have one of the hike it throttle controllers and if i still have the video or clip i'll go ahead and put that over here i can't pull it up again because i broke the button that shows me my gas mileage but ever since i have that i'm getting like 17 to 18 miles per gallon opposed to like 9 to 12 before um, granted, I'm on 37s and a 4-inch lift, so that's not still not great, but it's a lot better than what it was before. Um, the next thing is throttle response. So the throttle response, if you guys don't have any throttle controllers or anything like that, you'll realize on the Jeeps are super laggy. Um, they're just not very um, prompt, so when you hit the gas, it just instantly goes, which is kind of annoying, especially when you're trying to pass somebody or things like that. Um, especially, like, so for example, on a two-lane road, when you're trying to pass somebody before a car comes towards you or stuff like that. Uh, the throttle response sucks. Again, I have the hike it, so I can just simply put, uh, hit the mode button and put it into takeover mode and pass somebody easily. But stock, without the hike it, the gas mileage is awful and the um, throttle response is awful. So, huge shout out to hike it because for a $200 accessory, you can fix both those problems, which are probably two of the biggest problems with owning a Jeep, performance-wise and gas mileage, which just sucks all around. Uh, you definitely save more than $200 in gas by having one of these. I definitely recommend that. I'll actually link that below. That's a product I fully support. Um, I would recommend it to any Jeep owner. Um, I'm going to run it in every Wrangler I have from now on. Um, so I'll go ahead and link that below. I actually have a review video on that. I'll actually link above the description. So you guys can check that out as well. But besides that, those are the top 10 things I hate about my Jeep Wrangler. If you guys think I missed anything, let me know in the comments. If you guys think that... Any other things on the list didn't deserve to be on the list, let me know in the comments. Um, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, share this video with a friend. Like I said, we'll be doing a huge giveaway at 1,000 subscribers. We'll be announcing that at 800. Um, I believe we're like 56, something like that, away from hitting 800. So keep an eye out for that video. All you have to do is be subscribed to be entered. And it'll be an awesome giveaway. You guys definitely don't want to miss it. We're teaming up with Rocky Boxes, one of my other companies. It's going to be a really big giveaway. The biggest one I've ever done with Rocky Boxes or Rocky Offer to this point. 
So thanks for supporting. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.